Well, I am getting ready to leave for school. I'm in my car. And since I'm studying today early before class, and that means I'm going to be there for 12 hours today at least. So that sort of sucks. But I brought plenty of water and good supplies so I can keep myself entertained for the couple hour breaks that I have in there. Hopefully it doesn't rain tonight. I mean, it's pretty sunny out now, but I don't doubt the clouds are going to come in around four o'clock and fucking tear this place apart but yeah all right i'll so, talk to you later this is turning out to be a bunch of fail wrapped up into one big ball they don't even call whatever well i'm really doubting they're gonna show up what if they do it's a big shock I guess I'll just sit in my car until they call. But I got, what, like two and a half hours till class even starts, so. Fuck, I gotta stall time somehow. So, if it ever rains, I found a really sweet smoking cave. Look at this. It's, it's pretty awesome, huh? And. What the fuck just happened? Okay, I'm really lost and confused. Okay. So, anyways, this morning we were supposed to study, right? I was like, alright, cool. And we made plans like last week. So I was like, alright, whatever. So, first of all, never mind, never mind. I don't even want to say that. But, anyways, I'll tell you later. But, so I get there at 10, and I'm like hanging out, and I'm like, okay, you said you'd be here at 10 30. So cool. 11 30 rolls by. Okay, well, I guess you're not coming. So, we go to class, whatever. I take the test, and then we get in the lab. And uh, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. My phone died and I woke up late. It's like, both things of that happen? How often do both of that happen? Unless your alarm's your phone, but geez. It sort of lacks a little irresponsibility. Or, not irresponsibility, but it lacks responsibility. <sighs> and then they have the nerve to ask, are you upset? What? I'm not upset. I'm pissed off. Fuck. So I'm never doing that again. So once again, study partners does not equal epic. And then, when when I'm like getting ready to leave the class, I'm all right. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm getting the hell out of here. So she's like, hey, you want to go smoke? I'm like, okay. Sorry, I'm all over the, the page here. I gotta go back before I explain the last part. So either she is an exact copy of me, or she was mocking me. I, I can't really tell, because I couldn't take her serious. Or if she was telling the truth, I don't know. But it's either one of those. And then, anyways, so she asked me to go smoke. I'm like, alright, cool, whatever. And then, uh, so we're smoking and just talking and bullshit. And then she's like, oh... Am I your friend on Facebook? And I'm like, no. She's like, okay, well, I'll add you. So that implies she knows my first and last name, which I've never told her. So that's a little creepy. And then when I'm like, all right, I'll see you later, she walks over and gives me a hug. I'm like, what the fuck? I have no problem with it, but it was just like awkward. What the hell? Where the hell did that come from? Sorry, I'm on, like, a, a terrible rant right now. I'm, like, pissed off, tired, confused, lost. <laughs> but, yeah. Now I gotta move my car, because I don't want it to get stolen. And, unfortunately, I got out of class super, super early. So that means I have to stall three hours to my next class. Fuck. And, uh, yeah. That's about all I got for sure for now. I hope the person that I'm talking about right now never sees this video. I'm not trying to be mean. I was just confused and pissed off. So. <laughs> uh, what a lovely day. And of course, I should not be a weather forecaster because I was wrong. It hasn't rained. Now, I don't want I said it rained by four and it's, it's almost about four. It's actually four, yeah. Um, so I am wrong in that aspect. But I hope I am wrong that it won't rain at all tonight. But there is clouds on the horizon coming this way, it looks like. So if it does rain, I'm staying in the parking lot tonight until it clears out. 
But yeah, I gotta move my car. All right. Maybe the smoke cave is where you pick up chicks because that's where I took her to when she said she wanted to smoke. I'm not for sure. So if you're curious on uh, what she said when I said, when I thought if she was mocking me or uh, if she was like an exact copy of me, she said, call me if you're ever depressed or feeling down or something like that or you want to talk. That's mine. I say that to everyone. That is my kit and caboodle. I love that. Now, I, I'm not the best at cheering people up, but I think talking about it helps sometimes. So I do that as often as I can with whoever I can. So, yes, that's my kit and caboodle. Copier, unless you're an exact copy of me. Yeah. I broke down and ate a Pop-Tart, but man, it was good. It was blueberry. Oh, that was good. So now, stall more time. Stall more time. So it's just about midnight, and I was going to uh, the video and editing it, and I realized I didn't have an ending to it, so... Um, yeah. One of the things I, I learned today, remember? Well, I don't know if you've seen it, but the other video I said, tell someone something before they die that you would tell them if they died. Now, someone that I know is in the hospital right now, and I think I'm gonna take my own advice and tell them something. I don't think they're gonna die, but you never know. So that's all I got for today. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.